Well, hello there everybody. I'm Wait What, and I'm back with the Crooked Man. We just finished with the hotel, and now we are here. Let's get right into it. Man, this place was far. That took almost all day. So this is the place. Looks like this school was abandoned. Great, a haunted school. No one around, though I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let's take a look. Julius Stone Law School, set for demolition. Hey, this is a school from that leaflet. Then maybe he is here after all. So it's a law school. At least it's not an elementary school like in most horror games. But we'll see. Let's go. I'll just save right from the get-go. Fire extinguisher. Probably going to need that at some point. Exam results. And I realize my theory about the other place was wrong. We did not burn it down. Sad. Restroom. Apparently this game has things against letting you go into restrooms. Which is fine. I'm not going to complain. Uh... Oh, that was lucky. The nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key. Got the infirmary key. Notice about keys. Room managers for the month. Don't lose the keys. Parlor. Stacy Lizzie. Reference room. Ray Twain. Lecture halls. I'm not going to remember all this. But Stacy has the reference room key. Oh no, parlor. Parlor. Right. Magazines. Yeah. So it goes this way. So I just remember in this first room on the first floor, that's where all the keys go. Or where all the... The answer to what key goes to what rooms and all that jazz. So this room over here. Down there. In there. Over there. Up there. Whatever. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Janitor's room. Nothing, nothing. Deep fissures in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. So in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement. So down top right. Well, down right, I guess. Just the faculty. People. More people. Cleaning tools. Alright. And. Okay. That was. I thought I had the key to the parlor. Whatever, I'm not going to complain. Oh, parlor key. Well, now I have the parlor key. Uh, okay, that was weird. Okay. Completely dark out, like every time you enter one of these places. Okay. Let's go here. It's locked. Let's go up. Well, was there someone there? I couldn't really see them in the dark. Well, that happened. Events, more random fire extinguishers, vending machines, trash cans, reference room. Locked. Computer room. Locked. Parlor. Hey, I have that. Now, what will I find in here? Something evil? 
Uh, not sure what it's supposed to be though. Apparently it was made by Ray Twain. Hmm, apparently it was made by Ray Twain. What lectures? They look too much like letters, but I don't think they are. Right. Okay, it's a weird clock to have in this office. At least, this seems out of place. But whatever. Let's go. Yeah. Shadow dude, here I come. Box of tools. The whole box would be too heavy to take. I could probably take two tools from it. Oh, gosh. Screwdriver. Crowbar. I'll come back if I need anything else. I just chose those because typically those seem to be the most useful. You always have a screwdriver because you always need to see him take some freaking screw that has something and a crowbar to open something. Sounds good to me. Though a hammer would be make a good weapon. Yeah. Well, we'll find out when I make when I die later. This paper about topics covered by an exam. Books, books, books. Books, more books. Still more books. This person likes books. Nothing. An open security box. I don't see anything in here. Just a creepy ass ghostly howl. More upstairs? Jeez. Water won't come out. Demons in the locker. Copy machine, okay. This is very thrilling, I know. Hey, look, a box, a security box requires a passcode. Well, I don't have a passcode yet. Here's a book. Looks like some sort of diary. Michelle's dissertation made it into a scientific magazine. I'm so happy for him. Michael. Whatever. Michael's dissertation made it into a scientific magazine. I'm so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class he'd be a prodigy. I also realized he and I have the same birthday. I use my birthday as a security code, so I feel like maybe I should change it. What's your birthday? So chances are next I'm going to find something that tells me Michael's birthday. Hey, look, I found something. Documents are surrounded the desk. The key to the room is among them. John Keith's room. Okay. Notebook. Times are changing. Our existing laws are no use anymore. We must surpass the father of our law to find the true answer. Okay. Security box. I'm going to need to find a lot of codes, aren't I? This will be fun. Everyone has a book. Some sort of diary. Indeed, Law 2 needs a numeric representation. After all, basic things such as on or off, 0 or 1, can represent much more complex numbers. Using the smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking I hold in high esteem. Though perhaps it's more the artistic notion that captivates me more than the mathematics. Whatever you say, buddy. Why does this law school have math books? I'm terrible at math. Oh, God. I used to be terrible, or great at math, but then I entered calculus, and... No. The great thing is... I know binary, at least to an extent, so I should be able to figure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. So I shouldn't need to come back to that for help. Well, 
unless that I still need some sort of other clue, right? Just in terms of the binary itself, I should be able to figure that out. Because, yeah. Oh my god, so many passcodes. Diary. And everybody left their diaries. I lost the note with my security box password. Thus, I couldn't get into the computer room, and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in a book somehow? I should go look. If I used my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget, but that's risky. But if you just have whatever, then you have... Just use whatever, then you have my problem. Oh, God. Reference room. Andrew uses his ID. I'm going to be in here for a while. It's locked. What do I have a key for? John Keith's and that's pretty much it. I've already been in there. That leads to the same stupid place, you moron. Can't go in those. This was janitor's room. Mm. Behind the eastern bookshelf in the basement storehouse. Wander around aimlessly. Don't mind me. Reference room. Roy T Ray Twain. I mean, is this supposed to be the binary, like those connect? So, one, two, four, eight, sixteen, twenty, one, what? Ray Twain. Unless that's what it's, it's like, one zero one zero one, one zero one zero one, yeah, I don't really know. One, no. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god. Stuck already. Back in the computer room. Okay, so the key to the computer room is in that security box, I guess. The reference room. Andrews, this is... ID. How do I get into the reference room? Re 
reference room. Reference room. Ray Twain. Oh, joy. Oh, flippin' joy. Then again, who uses his code as a... I'm gonna be here for a while. I'm so sorry. Well, just so I'm not wandering around aimlessly, I'm gonna stop recording and come back when I hopefully figure something out and don't worry if I happen to cheat I will tell you I'm not yeah I'm gonna try my best not to have to look up at a guide but who knows so we'll see what happens I will be back okay I'm back and it contains the key to the reference room okay well I am in Mark, Mark Twain's, yes, Mark Twain's office, Ray Twain's office, and I just happened upon the code because, well, I didn't happen upon it, this damn clue over here, where'd it go, was it up, was it, in, was it upstairs and I'm losing my mind, or downstairs, <laughs> wow, Ow. Hey, who was that? Who'd you be? What are you doing in the school, you shady punk? Sh shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name, or I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. Huh, <laughs> you sure? As if a robber would say that they were one. What do you want? A permit? Now you tell me who you are if you're going to ask me. I'm D. I graduated from this school, so I came to bring back some memories. D, that's your name? Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but it's a nickname, dummy. You think I tell some shady guy my real name? Pss. What a little brat. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wandering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. Oh god. It's frickin'. What the hell's his problem? Didn't even apologize. He pisses me off. It's frickin' Gary from Pokemon. Smell ya later. Didn't mean to do that. This one over here. That's how I opened the safe. Because it's binary. And so from left to right, so the first number, so you see zero, 01, that's 1 and 2. Since that's a 1 in the 2 position, that means it is 2. The second spot right there, it's LOL, okay, not really. It's 101 one in the, and if we're reading it from, I should say, right to left, well, you can probably guess it's just numbers. One, two, four. You just double number for it. So four, there's a one in the four spot and a one in the one spot. So add that together. Five. And the bottom one has four ones. So it's one, two, four, eight. Add all those together and you get 15. So the code is two, five, 15. Something like that. And that's how I figured it out. I probably didn't need to do all that, just to let you know. But I did not cheat. I told you I would tell you if I cheated, and I was very close to cheating. But then I just decided, ah, screw it. We'll go look at that weird little spring thing again and see if we can make some stupid guesses. And it worked. They say that people despise those who think sim similarly to them or who are in similar circumstances. 
but humans are curious in that they can hide any outward appearance of goodwill or hatred, though they are two-faced deep down. They can make that idea seem unthinkable. You may despise someone much like you, but you may in your heart have affection for them. The improbable is not impossible. I never understood this philosophy stuff. Wouldn't you just dislike people you don't like? Yeah, some... Criminal law. Civil law. Philosophy. Regarded books checked in and out. Creepy picture of George Washington. Not really. Nonsense of new arrivals and the like. It is George. George Wythe. A signatory... Signatory of the Declaration of Independence. He is sometimes called the father of American law for teaching the first classes in jurisprudence. It's attached to the wall, but the screw is a little loose. If I had the right tool, I could unscrew it. I told you! I fucking told him! And the reason I'm complaining right now is because I went back to the tool case and got the crowbar and the hammer instead. So I no longer have the screwdriver. Now, where was it? Not in here. It was upstairs? Yeah, it was in here. Grr! Screwdriver, crowbar. It's like what I originally had. Now, let's go. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's attached to the wall, but... You do have the right tool. Unscrewed the screw, holding the portrait. There's writing behind this. 1647? Is it a code for something? I'm glad I took the screwdriver, though I'm not sure it'll be useful again. 1647. The shelves in the basement are for staff only. Those who require books from the basement must sign a form and become a staff. Sixteen forty seven. So is that it? Sixteen forty seven. Wait a minute, what didn't someone leave? I checked all the books. And there was no key in any of these, right? Because wasn't it the reference room that Andrew or someone like that left their key, they thought, in a book? No key in there. I checked up here already. Uh, 1647 Okay uh. So it said I probably won't need the screwdriver again. Just go find some kind of safe and s or security box and see if I can open it. That's the one I already opened. No. Birthday. I'm doing sixteen forty seven. Yay. Key to lecture hall. Yeah, that one. Oh, so the father. Okay, that makes sense. Lecture hall, here I come. Wow!
What? What? Why is it here? Back at the hotel, I... I thought I killed it. Damn it, I'll think about it later. C gotta run. Down me, old crooked man. What do you want me to do? Grobar does nothing. Light him up again. No. Still after me. Uh oh. Um Huh. Yeah, I'm stuck again. Is there anything in here? Books, books, books. Um, yeah. Oh. What do you want from me? something with a chair? No, can't do anything with a chair. Wow. Come on, crookie. What do you want with me? Can't I use anything? No, no. So there's nothing in my inventory, nothing in this room. I don't want to look it up. I don't, but I do. I might have to, but I don't. Documents. Can't do anything with that. Over here, over here, nope, 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 up here, oh god, nope. Nope, nope, nope. 
Yeah. Sorry. I looked it up. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, yeah. Come over here and let me get by you and... Monsters in there. I'm not going in. That's why you're supposed to lock the door, lock the room. Surely that'll keep it in. Whew. But this is so bizarre. I mean, back at the hotel. The hotel's hours away, isn't it? Could it really be following me? Why? How? Damn it, this is making me nuts. Or am I already going crazy? Am I just hallucinating this thing? Then again, it did attack Sissy. So it can't be my imagination. It exists. Monster that it is. D. If that monster's here, I have to warn D. Tell him he's got to get out of here. Alright, well on that note, I'm going to end this part here. As usual, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying it, and I'll be back with more real soon. Goodbye.